everybody, welcome back to unit six. Today we're gonna to talk about composer's choices. From now until the end of the year, we're gonna gear up to the final project, which is you guys being composers, writing your own music for one of our ACO musicians to play. And so today we're gonna to talk about the different choices that a composer makes when he or she is writing music. What's a composer again? Yes, a composer is somebody who writes music. One of the most fundamental choices that a composer makes is the tempo of the music. Tempo means how fast or how slow the music goes. Tempo means the speed of the music, how fast or how slow the music goes. So I could play Twinkle, Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star, really, really fast. Or I could play Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star really slow. How does the tempo or the speed of the music change the way you feel it? How does it change the way you react to it? Tempo makes a big difference in the feeling of the music. If you were gonna compose a piece about a cheetah, what tempo would you choose? If you were gonna compose a piece about a snail, what tempo would you choose? Duration is the length of time that something continues. So for instance, what's the duration of how long you can spend underwater? In music, duration is how long a note lasts. So I can hold a note really long. or I can play it super short. Articulation is a word that describes how the notes connect to each other. I can play with the bouncy articulation, or I can play smooth, or I can play sharp, like a tack. I can do something called slurring the notes, which is when I use one stroke for my bow, but I play all the notes at the same time with my left hand like this. So they're all really connected. Or I could even not use my bow at all and just do pizzicato, plucking with my finger, and that changes the articulation a lot. It's a little funny to imagine, but articulation can also be described as the way something feels to touch, like with your fingers. Like for instance, this. That smooth sound sort of sounds like a piece of velvet, maybe, or a piece of satin. <laughs> Whereas something like this, might sound more like a piece of sandpaper. The bouncy articulation sounds a lot like a ball bouncing up and down. What if I told you a story like this? Once upon a time, there was a boy named Peter that played the violin. How would it be different if I told it like this? 
Once upon a time, there was a boy named Peter, and he played the violin. What did I do differently with my voice? How did it change the way you understood the story? One of the most basic choices that a composer makes is volume, how loud or how soft the composer wants the musician to play. And there's a fancy word for volume in music. The word that we musicians use is the word dynamics. Dynamics means how loud or how soft to play. So there are several words that composers put in our music to tell us whether to play loud or soft. All of these words are in Italian. So I'm going to teach you some Italian right now. The word for soft in Italian, the word that composers put in our music if, we want, if they want us to play soft, the word for soft in Italian is piano. Can everyone say that with me? Piano. Excellent. So piano sounds like this. It's soft, sort of an average soft. If a composer wants really soft, the word in Italian is pianissimo. Can everyone say that with me? Pianissimo. That means really soft. So I'm going to try and play pianissimo now. If a composer wants the musician to play loud, the word in Italian is forte. Everybody say that with me. Forte. And if a composer wants the musicians to play really loud, the word is fortissimo. Can everybody say that with me? Fortissimo. That means really loud in Italian. Now, we often want to either get louder or get softer. So the word in Italian for getting louder in Italian is crescendo. Can everyone say that with me? Crescendo. So that means starting soft and getting louder. And the opposite of that, the word for getting softer in Italian is diminuendo. Can everybody say that with me? Diminuendo. That means starting loud and then getting softer. So all of the things that we've talked about today, tempo, articulation, and dynamics, those are choices that composers make, things that they put into their music to give the music more variety and make it more interesting to listen to. And those are choices that you can make when you start composing. You can think, what do I want to put into my music? Fast, slow, loud, soft, bouncy, smooth. Those are all choices that you're going to make when you become a composer. So now you're going to go onto the website, listen to a lot of different music, look at some paintings, and you're going to see how other composers and other artists put those choices into their works of art. See you soon. Have fun.